We're on a mission to eliminate language barriers in the world. I would like one day to make it so that anybody in the world can communicate with anybody else in any language in a seamless way. I'm Fasco Pedro, I'm co-founder and CEO of Andabo. The solutions that you had until now is, on one hand, machine translation, so Google Translate, which serves a purpose, but um, the quality is not there. On the other hand, you have professional translators, which are focused on kind of the high-end market, but there's not nearly enough to enable this kind of seamless communication. And so we started thinking, well, what if we combine both, right? What if we took what's the best thing of technology and what's the best things of humans and just, you know, used humans to improve what we get out of machine translation engine? We get the initial text, we do first machine translation, and then we take the text and we split it into chunks, and they, they're sent to people, you know, they can be anywhere in the world, until all the little bits are properly translated, and they get aggregated again, and you have someone at the end that does a final review. We're focused on specific domains like customer service, travel, e-commerce, right? And so this enables us to actually get a better machine translation in the domains. We're already beating Google in the domains that we're focused on in our machine translation engine. Overall, Google is much better, but in our specific domains, that's where we can have an advantage. London has a startup scene, but it has a financial scene, it has a bunch of other industries that, that compete for talent and for the spotlight. The same thing in New York, but San Francisco, it's only about startups, right? And Lisbon has a little bit of that where there's no real competition from other industries in Lisbon that the startup ecosystem can take hold and become kind of the focus. Uh, and we've been feeling that. I mean, there's something going on in Lisbon, it's kind of hard to describe, but there's an energy, there's great companies coming out of here. Build something people want, you know, actually do something that is valuable enough to people that they're willing to pay for, that creates value in the world. And that takes a lot of sacrifice, takes a lot of hard work. So do that work.